Hey, what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to make a video overview slash my initial thoughts of Android 4.3. So just to show you that I am on Android 4.3, if you couldn't tell already, um, I'm just going to go into About Device and you can see Android 4.3 right there. So, <clears throat> this is the leaked version, the Vodafone branded uh, German version of the firmware. And I must say that overall I'm quite impressed with Android 4.3 and by that I mean it's mainly to do with the battery life. The battery life for me is what is doing it for the moment. As you can see I'm on 48% charge with one day, three hours and 19 minutes uh, on time. As you can see the Wi-Fi has always been on, it's been awake every now and then. Uh, it's never been charging and the screen on has been about one hour. Let's check the screen on time. One hour and twenty-four minutes. Let's say one hour and a half. One hour, one and a half hour. So, for this screen on time and for this usage and the usage I've been doing it for, I've got to say it's a definite improvement over four point two point two. Um, for this type of usage, I would have probably already depleted all my battery. Um, whereas, if I compare it to Android four point one point two, it seems to be quite equivalent. So Android four point one point two's battery life with Android four point three seems to be equivalent, and Android four point two point two seems to be the one that is very battery um, hungry. So um, I've been quite impressed with it. But that said, there are certain problems that you guys um, should bear in mind. First of all, it is a Vodafone branded firmware, so sometimes. Um, you might have problems with your mobile data. Some people have reported the problem. All I can suggest is to go into the market and get CSC Select and go and try and change your CSC. I can't guarantee anything's going to work because I haven't had to change it because I've had zero problems on my Virgin SIM card in the UK. But just in case you have problems, try switching to a different CSC. Um, I would suggest VOD because VOD is a UK branded Vodafone uh, um, CSC. Uh, and it's the one that I'm uh, accustomed to. But these other CSCs I haven't really seen. I know SFR, for example, is a French mobile provider. So try some uh, to see if they work for you. Um, who knows, they might and some might not. But uh, as it's a Vodafone branded one, you can see the, the CSCs are pretty much um, relating to that. So do check your mobile data and your mobile connection before uh, playing around with the phone and customizing and then only to find out you can't actually use your phone at all as a phone. So do make sure you do check, check that out. And finally, the other problem that I've noted so far is the screen wake up time. The screen wake up time is something that seems to have been a problem when the S3 was first released. And it seems to be a problem now with this 4.3 leak. Basically, I would touch this button. As you can see, it turned on straight away. But sometimes, for example, I touch the button, which I'm not going to right now, but imagine I, I click it and it would literally take about 10 to 30 seconds to turn on, as in to literally have, oh, there you go, I just pressed it there, takes a little time to, to start up. And the longer you leave your screen off, it seems like the longer it will take to turn on. So this is a problem, uh, a definite problem, and it seems to be kernel related, if I'm not mistaken. So I should, you should definitely uh, note that problem. Don't panic if your phone doesn't turn on. It's just because it's just taking time to turn on. I have no idea why, but um, uh, it's just doing that. And another thing with the screen off is the audio stuttering, stuttering problem. The stuttering problem was present on Android 4.2.2 and it seems to be also a problem on Android 4.3 leak. Uh, both were leaks actually, so it's kind of expected to have some problems. So do bear that in mind as well. The audio stuttering problem is present with Android 4.3 leak and so is that weight clock uh, problem. I should also bear um, Note that I am on C, uh, CPU power saving mode, so just bear that in mind with my battery readings and also because of that wake lock. Because some people reported that when you don't have power saving enabled, you don't have that wake lock or the stuttering problems. I disagree because I think it's a power saving mode. In other words, the CPU power saving, like you have on a computer, it's like C1, C3, and C6. Um, it's, in my opinion, that sort of thing that's happening with the phone turns off, so it goes to idle, it goes to like a hibernation mode, and because of that, you get stuttering problems or you get a wake lock problem. Uh, that's my opinions and my thoughts on it. Uh, might be right, might be wrong, I'm not sure, but that's my um, educated guess on it. So anyway, guys, that is my um, thoughts and opinions on Android 4.3. 
I think that if you're on Android 4.1.2, I don't think you should upgrade because you'll realize these problems and it might frustrate you. And also because there's no custom kernel out there because uh, Samsung haven't released any um, kernel codes and whatnot for developers to use. But if you're on Android 4.2.2, which you have the similar problems, um, as I mentioned on 4.3, I definitely suggest upgrading to 4.3 leak as long as your mobile data works uh, because of the battery life. And the battery life seems better to me, so therefore it would seem a bit stupid to go to 4.2.2 and stay on there. So without, um, without prolonging this video uh, any further, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys have got any comments about uh, Android 4.3, do leave them below. I have to say that there's certain Android 4.3 um, things that have not uh, are not present um, at the moment in the leak. I'm not sure if that's a leak or because of Samsung delay, uh, deci deciding not to integrate it in the Galaxy S3. Uh, Nox, which is like a Samsung um, business slash user. Uh, interface thing that you can switch credentials uh, safely between two users without having to reboot almost like having a partition on your hard drive type thing um, or having two login names on Windows it's almost like that like switch user which is really cool for business users and that doesn't seem to be present and one thing I should also mention before ending this video is the fact that you're missing in the lock screen uh, the shortcuts the shortcuts are something that I really used all the time and in case you're forgetting what I'm talking about that are these little icons that were over here like power up and whatnot and you click it and select it and it directly open that that seems to be not present at the moment and again I'm not sure if that's a leak uh, because it's the leak or because Samsung have decided to remove it I really hope it's not because they've uh, decided to remove it because that feature is something that I used all the time and I'll definitely see be sad to see it go but with that said with XDA out there and awesome developers over there um, I can imagine a port coming soon if it's not in integrated. Anyway, guys, remember, ich liebe dich Android, and uh, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.